Hi, I'm Tim Hawthorne. I'm a druid and elder bard of Gorseth and Iswitrin, and today I'm going to focus on the sixth letter of the Bethlehemian Ua, which represents the letter H. Um, key words here in English are horror, harmony, home, and hearth. Uh, this also relates to the hawthorn tree and um, subsequently brings in concepts of chastity, uh, Sleeping Beauty and the May Queen and some degree of misfortune as well. Um, modern Irish doesn't use H as an initial and it's unattested in, in inscriptions which makes uh, life a little bit more complicated. I can't do my usual um, finding words in Irish. Its use is limited to marking additional aspiration and grammatical indications of the feminine. Our sleeping beauty of the trees alliterates for the qualities of harmony, hearth and home. But in Irish, it's associated with horror and fear. Um, and words like formidable, which is uhma. So we've got some correlations we're given in the book of Ballymote. Um, the bird relating to this station is the raven or the night crow, hadag, uh, kigvran in Welsh. The skill relating to this station is the skill of trisyllabic poetry, formal poetry, um, which is known as archedo in um, Irish. And the tool is listed as huartan, um, which I can find absolutely no meaning for whatsoever. So we're just going to have to guess there. It might mean a yoke or something. don't know. Um, and the colour related to this is terrible. Uah. Um, again in Irish, or Uther in Welsh. So this really doesn't give us much to go on. Perhaps the strongest association here is with the number one. Aheen, if you're counting in Irish. Now this is, this probably means aloneness um, rather than unity. Um, but having counted up to five on the right-hand side of the flesk, we now start counting again on the left. And in harp notation, this represented the root note of the pentatonic scale. Now, I don't know, we've already gone through five notes, and I don't know if uh, those would have represented the bass notes. I've suggested that in previous videos. Um, but certainly, these, this next acme relates to the five notes of the pentatonic scale, of um, the five notes of the mel main melody. So, if we have a look at um, some of the stories we've got. Uh, Graves gives uh, the line, I am fair among flowers, uh, which alludes to one of the trefoils left in Olwen's footsteps, she of the white track, the hawthorn giant Aspadadan's daughter. Kuluch has to perform a series of tests in order to acquire various hard to find or impossible to find items in order to win the hand of his goddess Olwen. His love for her is all-encompassing and unconditional and provides him the motivation to face his fear um, to go and get the comb and scissors from the head of the uh, boar, Turk Truth, um, and shave the head off her father, which is nice. The story also parallels Blood Iwed's creation from flowers by Gwydion and Math. There's another flower maiden there. Um, we could link with Arianrod's um, legendary chastity or uh, chastity test fail, which revealed two children, Dylan of the Waves and Llechlau Guffys, who both fit the pattern of the archetypal seasonally bipolar male deity. Skorha's daughter, Urcha, uh, falls for Cuhullan and tells him how to complete his training. Uh, which is an interesting little parallel there because her name probably relates to horror. So I wonder if uh, Cahalan was in fact falling in love with the horror of war. Later in the time, Fergus is seduced by Maeve and further emasculated when Alil relieves him of his sword. Alan Bleakley associates her with Sleeping Beauty in his book The Fruits of the Moon Tree, linking her with the figure of the May Queen, who is also the flower maiden and goddess of the land and bride of the king. 
So the tree, the tree, uh, Olwen is associated with the hawthorn. Uh, in Irish, that's Skachkial. Um In Welsh, it's Drynan Wen, or in Latin, Crataegus monogyna. And this flowers in May, generally, uh, apart from the one British species which also flowers at Christmas, which is famous in Glastonbury. This peasant tree can grow up to 30 feet high and can live for up to 400 years, um, but is more often seen as the mainstay of hedgerows um, and host to a wide amount of uh, abundant life. Its wood is hard wearing and useful for making small things like handles and combs and small boxes. Hawthorn bark can be used to dye wool black. Its leaves make a uh, excellent health-giving tea and its berries can also be eaten. Its twigs make fantastic kindling. Magically, hawthorn boughs were fastened to the outside of barns to ward off evil and ensure a good milk supply over the summer. The uprooting of the tree was considered unlucky, as was bringing the flowers indoors due to an association with the smell of death. Um, We've got um, some traditional May carols as well as the, uh, the the Christmas carols that people might be uh, familiar with. Uh, one of which has the line, A branch of May I have brought this day and at your door it stands. Obviously they wouldn't have brought the bough inside while it was flowering because it would have smelt of death. So the hawthorn represents romance but it's also cleansing and chastity. It has a very double-edged association with things that have an alluring and seductive outer appearance but are harmful or deadly behind their surface glamour. So it represents the harmony of home and hearth but also the horror of having them ripped apart. It represents both sexual abandon and sexual abstinence. The hero gains a taste of his heart's desire but must not be distracted from the mission ahead. So the challenge here is not being seduced by surface beauty and comfort. There you have the Hawthorn. Ua. If you'd like to help me support making more videos on bardic themes, I'd encourage you to join my Patreon team or perhaps consider making a one-time donation. There are links in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe using the buttons below and you can even click on the bell icon if you want to be notified as soon as I upload the next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Nothing but my song. I have nothing but my song.